مرحبا بأعزائي المشاهدين إلى درس الهادي عشر في برنامج تكلم العربية مع أوباكيت على قناة أوباكيت لينك اليوم بإذن الله تعالى سنتحدث عن الضمائر وسنركز على ضمائر المتكلم مع الأمثلة في الجمل Welcome to the 11th lesson of Speech Arabic with Obakit program. Today, inshallah, we're going to talk about pronoun in Arabic language. But on today's lesson, we shall focus mainly on the first person pronoun and give examples to buttress our explanation. Pronoun. What is a pronoun? A pronoun in Arabic language is known as Adamir. The plural is Adamir. They are the words used to replace the name of a person or object in a sentence. In English language, there are first, second, and third person pronouns that are divided into singular and plural pronouns only. But in Arabic language, we have first person pronoun, tamiruli mutakallimu, second person pronoun, tamiruli mukhatabu, and third person pronoun, tamiruli gaibu, which are divided into singular and mufrad, dual and musanna, and plural, and jamu pronouns. The dual pronouns are used when we are talking about only two people. But if there are three or more, then we have to use plural Arabic pronouns. Arabic has 12 personal pronouns, which are divided into according to their positions in a sentence. Into 1. Subject pronoun. Domirul fa'il. 2. Object pronoun. Tamiruli maf'ul bihi. So you possessive pronouns. Mudafu ilayhi. But the setup of Arabic pronoun is a little bit different from that of English language. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the first person pronoun in the position of subject, object and possessive pronouns. The first person pronouns Tamairulimutakalim. The first person pronoun is called Tamirulimutakalim. It is sometimes known as personal pronoun, which is referring to the person talking in the first place. It is divided into singular and plural pronouns. Examples. These are the examples. Anatolibun. I am a student. Anna is singular. It's first person pronoun, which is Tamir al Mutakalim. Nahnu Tulab, we are students. Nahnu is first person pronoun too, but for plural. And it is Tamir al Mutakalim. Kitabi, my book. My is possessive pronoun. Which is Yao. Kitabuna, our book. Awa is plural possessive pronoun. Which is Na. All of these underlined words are all. are all mutakallim. And the mirror mutakallim. Ana, Nahnu, Yao, and Nu. Arabic is considered a pro-drop language, whereby the subject of a sentence is generally indicated by the verb form. For instance, Nas have illa suit. You go to the market. The word we never appears in the sentence. It is the noon joined together with the verb zahaba. However, this has led to the division of the first simple pronouns here in two one. Attached pronouns. Adamayu mutasilatu. 
two detached bonus. The my era, the moon fossil at two. One separated or detached pronoun. A dummy will moon fossil. These are the pronouns that stand on their own without being attached to other words. They are always referred to as personal pronouns. Anna. Anna Mohandison. I am an engineer. This Anna is not attached to Mohandison. But it stands on its own. And it is Tamirul Mutakali, a first person pronoun. Nahnu, Nahnu Mohandisun, we are engineers. Nahnu is Tamirul Mutakali Mutu, Papa plural. And it stands on its own, it's not attached. These first person pronouns are Tamirul Mutakali. Anna and Nahnu. Two, the attached pronoun. Adamirul Desil. The attached pronouns are always added to the end of the word. This word can be a verb, a noun, or a preposition. One, when it is added to a verb, it functions as a subject. File. Or as an object. Mafulu bihi. Two, when it is added to a noun, is the possessive pronoun mudafu ilayhi. Three. When other with a preposition, it functions as an object of a preposition. Ismu majru. When the attached first person pronouns are added to verbs, the position of subject file we have kataba plus subject pronoun two, which is in the past form. It makes katabtu, which means I wrote. So the the subject pronoun here is to. Kataba plus subject pronoun na, which is in the past form, makes katabna we wrote. So the subject pronoun here is noon. Na. Kataba plus. Subject pronoun alif, which is in the present form, makes aktubu, I write. So the subject pronoun here is alif. Kataba, plus noon. Subject pronoun noon, which is in the present form, makes naktubu, we write. The the subject pronoun here is nu. When the attached first person pronouns added to verbs, they function as objects. Then we have semita plus object pronoun ni. Become semitani, you heard me. The object here is ni. Samita plus object pronoun na becomes Samitana, you heard us. The object here is na. When the attached first person pronouns are added to nouns, they function as possessive pronoun. Mudov ilayhi. Then we have kitab plus possessive pronoun yao becomes kitabi my book a possessive pronoun here is yao kitabu plus possessive pronoun na becomes kitabuna our book so the possessive pronoun here is na when the attached first person pronouns are added to prepositions they function as the objects of the preposition. It's Mumajiru. We have Illa plus the object of preposition Ya becomes Illaya to me. So the object of preposition here is Ya. Illa plus 
object of preposition na comes elaina to us. So the object of preposition here is na ma plus object of preposition ya comes ma i with me. So the object of preposition here is ya ma plus it object of preposition na becomes ma na with us. So the object of preposition here is now. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Join us next lesson for another episode of Speak Arabic with Obakids. Shukra, I am Mutaba and thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to our channel, Obakids, Link TV, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram.